Okay, guys. So continuing on with the wedding theme, I have another centerpiece decoration idea that's what I'm going to be doing for my brother-in-law's wedding. And I wanted to show it to you how simple it is because you guys can obviously just, it's kind of like just putting things together. So I have this wooden, um, this is actually a cake stand. I picked it up from Hobby Lobby. I mean, not Hobby Lobby. I picked it up from Home Goods, and I'm just removing the tag, you guys. But I picked it up from Home Goods. It was $12.99 on a haul. Um, I don't know how long ago, to be honest. But I haven't used it, and I'm going to use it today for demonstration purposes only because my father-in-law is actually they you they have a wood uh, furnace so they're going to be actually the ones cutting the wood for me so if you have the ability i mean you could buy these without the the little legs um i've seen them available at hobby lobby and you could buy them by themselves if you want or in my case to save money uh, my father-in-law is going to be doing it for me made out of real wood and then of real trees because they already use the trees for the wood furnace so I'll just leave the rest like it is because I can't I can't get to it but anyways they already have the access to tree trunks and he's just going to be using his um, saw to cut about maybe 10 to 12 inches in diameter and they're not going to be perfect circles um, a tree is shaped however mother nature designed it to be so we're this is going to be just like i said this is for demonstration purposes only you guys um just imagine it without the legs and at the centerpiece for each table so i bought these bottles at hobby lobby this is from the spring um collection and basically we're gonna make like a little cluster look how pretty these are at hobby lobby and they were like 50 percent off so it's like two dollars and some change and they don't have i think they're gonna have like 10 um centerpieces is what they asked me to do so 10 is all that i'm doing and i know it's a little bit dirty because i was messing with the candle and it was like black um so i need to wipe that down but honestly i paid like two dollars and some change and it already came with the key and with the little lace and the little ribbon bow as well so we're gonna put that here and then we're going to add a candle, but let me, um, like so, right? We're going to make like a little cluster. However, I wanted to give you an idea in case you don't have the money and you want to be able to just use, um, what you already have. So you could buy mason jars and you can get some spray paint this one's from Krylon and it's like a coarse texture so it's like I don't know if you guys could see like kind of like ripply like that and you could spray paint it let it dry and use that or you know how sometimes we have jars from like spaghetti sauce or um, maybe if you don't want to use actual glass you guys could use like recycle cans from like canned vegetables and spray paint them and use that. So if you were to use like a, uh, lost my train of thought, a glass jar, then all I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna lay it down here so that I got this um, pretty ribbon and I'm taking my hot glue gun and I am gonna unfortunately cover some of it, but I'm just gonna, try to go all around and decorate it to make it look vintage and even i gotta make sure i don't you know what i i bought everything so i want to make sure 
it's somewhat straight going all the way across. See, because this is already going taller than, than what I started with. So just going to keep, keep um, turning it. And try once again to make it even a little bit at a time. So I don't even know if I'm on camera, you guys, because I'm like at an angle standing up. And see, like mine is over. <laughs> like this part is taller than this part, but you know what? We're going to go with it because it's handmade, and it'll just be perfect like that. And then we're just going to cut the excess. What did I do with my scissors? They're right here. So we're just going to trim and then we're going to make sure that we put a little bit of glue on the bottom as well. And look how simple. You don't even have to spray paint it if you don't want to. You could just leave them like they are. And so we're just gonna add that to the back. And then I did tell you guys that her colors are blue, yellow, and white. So I have a ton of flowers here and I'm not very good at putting like bouquets together. So I'm just honestly going to go with it. I have my husband's um, wire cutters here and I hope that my damaged finger, <laughs> my damaged finger works. Let me see. Let's see if I could squeeze. Because these ones are like a little thick. I kind of should have waited for Mike to get here. Ah. So, see that one's too short. Maybe I should have taken the... No? No, I don't like it. Um, let's do one of these. And see. Will work. I'm just kind of playing around, you guys, because, like I said, I'm not um, I'm not very good at putting bouquets together. How about we get one of these blue roses from here? See if we move that. Maybe trim a little bit. Is that too too big? Shall we get a white one? Let's get a white one. Although these ones are like a hot mess. So it's better to trim big and then shrink as you go. You know what I mean? Like it's better to cut it long and then cut it too short and you're like, dang, I don't have any extra. But. How cute is that? Can you guys see? Because I don't even know what I'm doing. Let's see. Bring you up. I know you can't see with all this in the background. But if I were to move that. Look how cute that is. Just by itself. And then if you don't have like... Um, like this is a pre-existing candle I already have, but my intent is to go to the dollar store and get those little like small size candles um, just to decorate in there. Now, my father-in-law has a wood engraver, so he's actually gonna write like their names across the wood and then the date of their marriage. So, they're doing that part. They're going to be doing the wood part and then the engraving part. And I'm just going to be pretty much putting things like this together. And very inexpensive. I haven't been to the dollar store to buy those little candles. But you guys know which ones I'm talking about. They come in like a little jar. 
So I'm just going to pick like a brown one or a white one and then just add it and it's a little cluster of three. And that's going to be the, ten the center pieces that I'm doing for the wedding. So very simple. I think, um, you know, if you know somebody that's getting married, you have family that's getting married, it's just kind of putting things together like that that make it very inexpensive and looking for those deals. Like I said, this is part of the spring collection at Hobby Lobby and they were like $2 a piece. So once again, if you don't have, you don't want to spend the money buying mason jars or buying bottles like these, um, go ahead and use your vegetable cans, your wine bottles, you could spray paint them because you know they come in different shapes. So just mix it and put it together and maybe gave you just another idea for a wedding decoration. Even though this is just a small dis uh, demonstration that you guys um, got the idea of what I was trying to portray um, or see the vision. Let me see if I could turn the candle on so you guys could see. My only, I think, my only recommendation or reminder is to be careful. You don't want to grab a, a candle that's like too tall and then it would be so close to the, to the flowers because you don't want to set the wedding on fire, you know? <laughs> Maybe you do. No, no, no. Let's not, uh. Let's not say that, but, <laughs> but you don't want to set the wedding on fire. So your candle, that's why I want to buy the dollar uh, store ones or a dollar tree because the candles are like not that tall. They're probably like this tall. So they sit low enough where the flowers are in, there's enough space between the fire, the flame and the petals of the roses. So that was just, again, my simple idea for a wedding um, table centerpiece. I hope that you enjoyed watching. Very simple, right? Very like put together. And we'll see you soon. Have a good one. Bye.